Welcome to your Secure Client Portal. This is a place where we can securely communicate via our website with documents such as tax returns, financial statements, QuickBook files, uh, medical documents, whatever it is. So it's something that allows us to securely share documents that are not left unencrypted or uh, subject to an attack by a hacker via traditional email. So you should have received a username uh, from your professional already. Uh, and at this point, you would enter it at the client portal login or any secure link that has been sent to you. So when you click login, this will now take you to the secure HTTPS secure login, uh, where you would put your username. If you do not know your password or forgot it, just simply click forgot password. This will enable you to put your email address in and it will send you instructions to reset your password. If you know your password, simply enter it in the password field, click sign in. And this will now take you to your secure portal. Here, there's a couple different options. You'll see three tabs here at the top, the home, the conversations, and documents. So within each area is where uh, you'll be able to browse through uh, existing conversations. You can start new ones or download documents that have been shared already. So the first thing you will see is if you're trying to just send a, a document or start a conversation, you can put in a subject line, body copy, and you can drag and drop or browse out to your desktop to add files. If you have existing messages that have been sent to you by your professional, you can simply click on Go to Message Center, and this is where you can review different messages that have been sent or access a new uh, message. Here you'll see what is the body copy of the message, uh, and then access to any documents that have been sent securely. So right here is an example of a business organizer. If I click on it, this will now download to my computer. If I wanted to fill out that business organizer and return it back to my professional, I cl simply click the return arrow. Fill in some body copy. If you're using Chrome or Firefox, you can drag and drop. If you are using other browsers, just simply click on and browse out. I'm just going to drag and drop my organizer. It'll tell me that it's been uploaded. And now I have the ability to click send. At this point, that message will be sent over to your professional and they will receive an update email that a new document is ready for them. If you wanted to view existing documents, click on the document icon. And here you can download any document that's been sent previously. If you want to search by different fields and sorting, you have the ability to do newest by oldest, oldest to newest, A to Z, Z to A by file name. You can also filter by tags or things that you have uploaded, or even just put in a keyword if you're looking for a specific document. Simply click on the document, takes it to you, double click on here, and now you're downloading the document. You'll also see the contact us field. This is where the information to contact your professional will be located. And you'll also see settings here. So in the settings field, you can update information about yourself, uh, birthdays, uh, upload a picture, time zones, things like that to make this a little more personal to you. So we hope this tutorial has helped you. You can always call your professional directly if you need any assistance with setting up your username and password. Thank you.